Hello, my name is Jordan. I'm here with Good News Fayetteville and Beyond. And today I have with me Marina Levitt, who uh, I just met last night, and she has an incredible story to tell. She's written a book called Healing God, Wake Up and Heal Yourself, and that she'll be speaking a little bit about. But I was particularly interested in how you came about writing this book. I had an awakening when I um, moved to the States about six, five years later in 2004. I had an awakening um, to realizing I had this capacity, ability to hear the voice of God directly. And I started asking questions. At that point of my life, I was, you know, my entire life was apart. So my health collapsed, my relationship collapsed, everything was just going wrong. Mm. And I needed some answers. And so I was kind of cornered because I grew up in an atheistic country. I grew up in the Soviet Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And for me to get to a point, you know, where I would say, okay, somebody explain to me what's going on here, it was a big deal. So, but I did. And when I asked, um, I started hearing voice, like I'm talking to you right now. And I started writing, and then I started asking more and writing more, and somehow I forgot even, you know, why I started, and I kept going deeper and deeper into existential questions and questions about God and questions that are all inclusive about, you know, all people in general and suffering and life and whatnot. And at some point I figured out it was a book. So here it is. One of the things you spoke about last night was your ability to to sing and the effect that that singing has on people. And I was particularly, I love the story about your being at the beach and being and learning that you had this ability to, to, to heal people with your singing. Well, first of all, you experience that ability. How uh, that, that, you know, um, how was it for you yesterday? What was your experience? Well, I felt a very, a very, I'd say subtle, but uh, but general relaxation of my left side muscles, which I have a lot of tension in. So I did feel some, I did feel something at the time from listening to your tongue sing. But would you tell us about the dolphins? About the dolphins. Well, after writing a book, I was traveling um, with talks and, you know, workshops at different places and settings, and I've done it for many years. And then um, about a year and a half ago, I went to Virginia Beach with my events, and after talk or workshop, I don't remember what, I stepped out and to the beach. and. Um, just this energy started moving through the body very powerfully and there was fear you know like okay I shouldn't resist but what is it so it felt like it came to my throat and I just opened my mouth and the sound came out and then I started singing spontaneously not words but just a melody like yesterday in the workshop I had no idea what I was doing I was standing there listening to me and as you know my story from yesterday I had a lifelong story of people telling me I'm not able to sing and by that point I gave up on any you know attempt to even open my mouth and sing and so when I was singing uh, I noticed there were dolphins suddenly in front of me like four dolphins mm. and people watching and taking pictures and I stopped singing to appreciate the dolphins and at that moment I got a message from the dolphins and they said it said don't stop singing, it is healing. You know, keep singing. And I started crying because I was totally shocked. I was like, you know, me? Are you kidding me? And, and I, just, I just said, okay, maybe dolphins don't know separate good from bad, so I'll just give them, you know, <laughs> I give them what they're asking for. And I did. And in the end, when I finished, um, I felt their energy shift. And also, uh, they said, you know, now you go and do it with people. And so since then, I completely shifted my whole healing practice to um, vibrational. It's like medicine. It's vibrational singing mm -hmm. where all these beautiful energies in the world collaborate and come through me to give people exactly what they need at that moment. Mm -hmm. So those are healing circles I'm traveling with. Okay. 
Well, I think we're about up. I do want to recommend this book to you, uh, Healing God, Wake Up and Heal Yourself by Marina Levitt. And uh, if she's ever back in Fayetteville, we'll try to have her on this program again. And, uh, and we'll try and do, let her know that, let you know that she'll be here so you can catch her when she is here. So thank you very much. And again, it's Jordan with uh, Good News Fayetteville and Beyond, and we're delighted to have you with us today, Marie. Thank you so much, Jordan. Thank, thank you, you for interviewing me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love you all.